I think Aaron Baron Basaka has moved on from wherever he had last season. Thanks. He's moved on from that. But this guy, he's won me back. I thought it was honest, honestly, <laughs> I thought he was finished. I thought this brother is not serious. He doesn't want to improve. He hasn't, he's stagnated for two seasons. And he's just gonna he's gonna get sold in the summer or get sold at some point, and we will see him just do what he normally does. I called him not a footballer, KG. At some point, his touch the, was the, atrocious. The guy, Everything I, I was atrocious. I don't no, know what Everton Hag has done, but the yeah. guy, I love him again. I never gave up on him. I never gave up on him. I always knew he was a player. I, I respect you. I respect you because the way man when we're moving, it was easy to. But like honestly, mm -hmm. the way that it, it, it's not, it's just his defending, his decision making on the ball is improved so much. And, yeah. He has stopped trying to do things he's not good at. He, he knows he's not the great at crossing 24-7, cross, cross, cross. He knows he's not great at that. But he's limited the amount of times he crosses. And now he plays the passes on the inside. He links up the the play. So, honestly, so much better than Delore right now. If you told me which one would you want to pick to stay at Man United out of two, I'm uh, picking Aaron wan right now. Do you, know what's yeah. Do you know what's crazy? Ads. I'm, I remember me and Ads on Twitter chatting to people about this a few years ago. I don't dislike Delo. Delo's come back and been a lot better than I expected him to be. Mm -hmm. But do you know why Delo gets the ratings? Because Delo is one of those footballers who looks good even when he's playing badly mm -hmm. because Nothing. he yeah. passes the eye test. And the eye test is a very dangerous way to judge a footballer. It's like judging a human being based on how nice they look, as opposed to their character, their behaviors and their general attributes towards life. Just judging somebody on, Oh, she's pretty. Therefore she must be a brilliant person. He's handsome. He must be lovely. Well, Ted Bundy was pretty good looking. Do you know what I'm saying? And look how that ended up. And that's what a lot of these football fans do. They, they, they fall in love with Ted Bundy. They see a footballer that looks good and go, ah, he's techie, bro. He's a baller. It doesn't mean he delivers. Oh. AWB on the ball, we know there's still a lot that left to be desired. But we are playing in a system where our fullbacks, the, the left-hand side does it a little more, but we're not overlapping. They're going on the inside. They're inverted. Mm. AWB is in his element when he is not isolated regularly out That's on that right-hand side. The creativity is coming from Bruno drifting to the right from midfield. And then you get Anthony and AWB cutting on the inside. And look, there's a lot of work to go. But you're right, KJ. He he has been phenomenal. And when he... That's Ten Hag's biggest mistake on Sunday was not bringing him on at halftime. As soon yeah. as AWB came on, they didn't get... They had one shot in the whole second half. And that's it came through the middle. They, they, they didn't create a damn yeah. thing. And AWB was pivotal to that because they, they had to go somewhere else. And as soon as they mm -hmm. started trying to go through the middle, Casemiro stopped them. They couldn't get down the left, that right-hand side at all, and they were stuck. And AWB's turnaround has just been nothing short of phenomenal that, so far. That's twice in two weeks. You had the, the cup final where he came on and mm. locked down that side again. And today, he comes on again. And it would be easy for him to be like, well, Delay's been, Delay's been injured. I've been good. He's come back and straight back into the team. Like, this is unfair. I'm going to down. He could easily down tools. He can easily throw a drop and just, just drop his levels, but he hasn't dropped his levels. And we have we have questioned him a lot over the last season and a half. I think we can't question him. He's got the I he's got the mentality, in my opinion. He's got the mentality. Yeah. He may not show it, but he's got the mentality. And if Ten Hag continues what he's doing with this guy, I'm telling you, we will have a top, top fullback. I don't need Trent. Yeah, I don't need Trent on my right hand side. Bro. I don't need Reese James on my right hand side. I need someone who can fit into the system, defend well, and play the ball when he needs to play. Well, I need me Spider Man. That's what I need. I remember. <laughs> Fam, and you know, you know what it is. If we really, if we really, really want to be honest about it, Dallo is mid, bro. He what's it called? He's they say they say that he his best attribute is you know going forward and you know putting crosses in. How many crosses does he actually hit his target for real? Yeah, he hasn't and been doing that recently still, put... I'll be honest. Huh? Yeah, yeah, it's true. He ain't been doing that recently. He ain't been going in that department. And I'll be honest with you. Like, I say, look, Van Bissaka, first season, one of the best players. Second season, I feel like he was quite underrated because of how well Luke Shaw was playing. I feel like his season went under the radar. Uh, third season, he started off well, then kind of dipped because then obviously Radnick came in, chose the low. But this season, he's just, he's just been completely different. And I think his offensive output 
it's been there because obviously he, there was that one season, like I said, his second season, he got six assists in all comps, which is actually quite impressive for someone who can't pass. But they were all saying that. But this season, he's he's been better. And honestly, like KJ said, the mentality is there. And it's not just a mentality. A lot of people say, oh, you know, it's just the mentality. But he has the mentality and the ability. When you have to do, if you have, the, if you have both of them things, you're a proper player. And he's a proper player. And he's got a bright yeah. future. I think as well, like this is it all, it's all swings and roundabouts. And I think this is, there's been some, Gary Neville kind of started this where he spoke about how he loves the way Ten Hag's playing because it reminds him of Fergie and what he considers to be. You got to remember Gary Neville, love him or loathe him. He's watched Man United since before he even played for the academy. Man United's best teams, there was never a fixed style of play. There was never, we've never been, we've never been Ajax or Barca or any of these teams where you just kind of know how they're going to play before you even watch the game. It's always been, you know, we use wingers, we use wide players, but it could be one week with the aggressors and with a dominant team in possession. The next week we play counter-attack football. The week after that is a combination of the two. It's a team that will often get rotated quite a fair bit. You go, okay, well, we're going to have a special plan today for this player. That's how Man United have operated since Samat Busby. I think some Man United fans want that Ajax, Barca, dominate the ball, have 70% possession, it look beautiful. Listen, we might end up evolving into that under Eric Ten Hag. That may be the longer-term plan, but it may not be. The thing is, sometimes as fans, we, we, we rave about a manager because how we see him play at a certain club, but maybe Ten Hag's been dictated to, at Ajax, you must play this way. Maybe Ten Hag goes, I like that style, but I like the idea of having variety to the way I play things. And for me, it's going to be interesting to see how we move forward because as long as we don't need a marauding fullback, who needs to be able to cross the ball at, at a top class level? AWB is one of the best in the world. No, there isn't a fullback in the world, in my opinion, that is better than him defensively. He used to get caught on the, the same thing. Passes, yeah. It's true. He used to get caught on the balls a little bit, but I've He's seen that stop. That. And, and again, but how much of that was him and how much of that was the lack of shape in an Ollie system? With all due respect mm -hmm. to Ollie Gunnar Solskjaer, there's so mm -hmm. much, there's, there's so much more for him to develop. I'm, I'm very, very excited indeed. Um, about that. There's a comment here that says um, uh, Emirates renamed Coke Zero Stadium. Terry, uh, you beaut. Listen, everyone can do the banter. Um, we live rent-free in the minds of Liverpool fans and Liverpool Thanks. fans rent-free in your uh, comment sections. Terry, love the obsession. Yeah, I love it too. Listen, keep being obsessed because you're not going to you're not going to wind up a true Man United fan tonight. Uh, Dan Joe says, Goldberg, FC. <laughs> exactly. Uh, media and rival fans are praying that United fall apart with this manager. Uh, not this time. We have the right man. Add Kane uh, to this uh, team. Then, wow. What, what, what do you think of that, uh, Josh? Do you feel like if you had a Harry Kane or a world-class striker to this team, it goes to another...